Hi, I'm Don Baden from SampleLibraryReview.com and I'm very excited because today we're going to take a look at Rhapsody Orchestral Colors from Impact Soundworks. Now, Rhapsody Orchestral Colors is a really cool library. You got the ability to play each of your sections in unison or with chords. Brass. strings and you've even got a choir Go ahead and let you come along with me on a journey here. We're going to dig in, play around, and listen to some of the sounds of Rhapsody Orchestral Colors. So I've got the uh, Rhapsody Orchestral Colors chords pulled up here. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got them all unmuted. I've got the brass chords, the string chords, the woodwind chords, and the choir chords loaded up all on one track. So what that means is I'm going to be able to play chords from all the sections all at once, major chords through the purple part of the keyboard, minor chords through the top, the blue part of the keyboard. I've got five different articulations. We've got sustain. Legato. You can see right here, I've got the dynamics I'm controlling with the mod wheel. One of the things I do love about this instrument is the dynamic range. You can get pretty quiet with it, and it sounds great. You get pretty loud with it again. Uh, you hear each of those sections coming through with the chords. Uh, really nice, beautiful samples. In the spirit of the Rhapsody line, as Impact Soundworks has put it out, what they've done is created a very dry sample. Here we've got um, three different positions for microphones, a close mic, a tree mic like a Decca, and an outrigger that's further back in the room. Uh, this is a main, you can control the entire volume from there. So let's just take a listen to just the brass here. And here, this little magnifying glass gets us in the back. And we're here, we're able to turn off our hall just so we can hear the staccatissimo. Pretty short. And here is the staccato. Real dry, really nice sound. You put it in a hall. The um, brass sounds really great to me. The string chords, same setup, 
here we've got three modules. We got the basses, cello, violin, and viola in one. Now um, you're able to route each of your modules on all of the instruments here out a different stereo output. So if you wanted to run basses out one output, cello out another, viola and violin out another, you could um, you could process them separately or get nice clean tracks of those. So here's the strings uh, chords legato. Again, a lot of dynamic range there. Um, another thing I, you can see down here is we've got different voicings. Uh, low voicing, high, wide, fat octave power chords that's like ones and fives then we have aleatoric we've got three different aleatoric modes i'll stick those on so you can hear that it's basically just playing something different each time you play the key uh, in a certain set <laughs> now that probably would have sounded a lot better with staccato You get the point that can be very useful uh, if you need something aleatoric like that um, sound really cool with woodwinds as well you also have the ability to dictate what um, what part of the scale you're playing so for instance if I'm gonna play the basses in low uh, the cello in wide and then I'm gonna have the violins and violas play our seventh so up at the top, we'll have minor seventh chords. And that'll probably help with sustain it. Bottom, we'll have major seventh chords. Same here with uh, where we want to dictate a sixth, sec seventh, I'm sorry, second, all of those. So we got a lot of control over chords just with the voicing properties here. The woodwind chords themselves, they've got two modules, the bassoons and the high winds. Uh, got the same concert hall turned on for these, all four of the mics. This section is like an EQ, a low, low, mid, mid, and high, just if you want to tune it a bit. One of the things I really like about this woodwind sample set is the bassoons have that nice buzz to them. Um, here, let's play along. And then the last chord module for a section is the choir chords. The only difference with this is you've got these two key switches here. You've got samples of um, O vowels. And samples of ah vowels. Again, that's just with the legato, with staccato, we can do those same kind of things. <clears throat> now I've pulled up the uh, unison uh, ensembles. I've got all of them. Here's the strings, the woodwinds, the brass, and the choir pulled up. Um, we've got a choir effects. So I'll get to that in a minute. But what I'm going to do is play on one, uh, I've got one track with all of these loaded in. So I'm able to play uh, 2T. There we go. I'm able to play a 2T uh, legato, my entire choir across the keyboard here. <laughs> Uh, 
uh pretty cool as you can see um that's everything playing with just our strings we've got a uh, string we've got the same articulation sustains <laughs> Legato. Our staccatissimo sounds great. And the Tenugo, I hardly showed that one off, have I? Let's go on to our woodwinds in unison. Uh, woodwinds legato. And then when they play the low end, we really get that buzz in the bassoon. And of course, the staccatissimo sounds great in both registers. All the registers. Let's go ahead and move all on down to the brass unison here. Sustain, I'll play a couple chords. Got some latency here, uh, mostly because of my recording video and audio in the computer while I'm playing back with latency in my DAW. Uh, not a lot of, it's not very RAM hungry. You can see I'm using less than a gigabyte for each of these. But if I'm not as musical as you might normally want to hear, um, that's a little bit of the reason to it because I'm playing with that that jump and latency uh, it doesn't sound that musical to me so I'm hoping it comes across that you get the picture here's the choir unisons again we've got the A ah and O oh, you can see right here with our key switch with legato Staccatissimo. And then um, the other instruments that are included are very useful. This is the choir effects. We've got men's choir in the bottom, women's choir on the top part of the keyboard. We've got consonants. We've got some clusters, some rises and falls. So there you get an idea of some things you could do, uh, some pretty cool things if you were doing stuff like. Some cool effects there. 
let's jump in to the custom ensembles. Now there's a, a custom chords ensemble. Each of these custom ensembles gives you the ability to add whatever uh, section you'd like within the modules. So for instance, this custom ensemble's got cello, horns, violin, violin, viola, and high winds. Now I'm playing chords. So when I go to play it here, let's see if this is it. Yep. I'm getting some super weird stuff because, uh, did I go over this? These are your voicings. I think I went through the voicings, but what I didn't explain is this question mark thing. It makes a random aleatoric selection of what voicings you're going to be doing. So I'm going to do some Siccatissimo. I'm just going to play the same note, this D5, over and over. You get the idea now what it's doing. If I turn this all off and back to something relatively normal, we'd be able to get our old chords back again. Pretty cool. Uh, now the custom ensemble, there is also a custom ensemble unison. Uh, now this is great because you can custom make um, sections to play uh, in unison together. I've got basses, tuba, bassoon, and trombone. So, you know, right away, right off the bat, you can see that um, I'm going to be able to get... Uh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to be able to get a really cool, just low legato line from this. Now you can uh, just with the just like the chords ensemble, custom ensemble. You can select whatever instruments you want, so you can make your own custom ensemble. You don't have to fill all of them up. You can turn off a couple of them. You know, if you just want one for women and uh, high winds. Now you can see because we've got the uh, choir up, we have our O and A here again, O vowel and A vowel that we can select from. So <clears throat> I hope you got a better idea what Rhapsody Orchestra Color sounds like. Androversa has a official Impact Soundworks uh, intro and walkthrough video. Um, I think it's got a lot more detail as to what everything does. I know there's a lot of stuff I didn't cover. Uh, but mostly I wanted to make sure you could hear all the instruments, what they sound like, and what the library does. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really excited that it's only $149. Um, this really is a great set of ensemble samples. The Chords Engine, I believe they developed it when they were doing uh, Brevera Scoring Brass. And they've taken it to a, another level here by giving us a set of great tools, um, time-saving tools. You can sketch in, but still the sample quality is so good, you can leave them and use them. If you found any of the sample library review videos helpful, uh, please head over to the Patreon page. We'd love your support. Um, you could pledge for as little as a dollar a month to help us continue to create videos like this for you.